Hello and welcome to this tutorial on Software Ideas Modeler. Today, we'll be exploring various options on how to add constructors to a class. This will help you streamline your software design process and make your UML diagrams more effective. As you can see, we have a class named Color with four public properties, or attributes with the property stereotype. These properties are named Red, Green, Blue, and Alpha. Now, let's look at the first method to add a constructor to our class. This is a more manual approach and can be less efficient if we want to add multiple parameters to the constructor. Step one is to add a new operation. We'll give it the same name as the owner class, in this case, color, and then add a create stereotype. This method is straightforward, but can become cumbersome if our constructor needs several parameters. The second method is more efficient, especially when dealing with multiple parameters. First, select the color class. Notice the context bar under the selected class. Here, you'll find the Add Constructor button. Clicking this button opens a dialog where we can select which attributes we want to initialize through the constructor. It's also possible to add other parameters later in the diagram editor. After making our selections, click on the OK button to confirm and insert the constructor into the selected class. Lastly, let's explore how to use shortcut keys to add a constructor we'll use the shortcut Alt plus four, corresponding to the fourth button in the context bar. Pressing Alt four brings up the new constructor dialog. In this dialog, click on the select all button to choose all the attributes. Then click OK. The new constructor, which initializes all the attributes of the class is now listed in the list of class operations. And there you have it. Three efficient ways to add constructors to your classes in Software Ideas Modeler. This will help you to edit your diagrams even faster. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials like this one.